extra, extra. Read all about it, Scorpio. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Uh, I'm going to do a full oracle card spread here on YouTube. It's an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So it don't matter if you're Scorpio sun, moon rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, Uranus, Pluto. It doesn't it doesn't matter. What matters is you have Scorpio energy influencing your chart. So all of these themes and energies that we go over and discover here, you can apply them to wherever Scorpio influences your life, even if that's through somebody else. <laughs> so um, there's always an extended reading, however. If you want a more personalized reading, a deeper reading, a more articulated reading, specifics, that's in the extended, and that includes a romantic specific reading. Um, that link is below to get a little glimpse into romantic energies for each sign for this week. Look above and you'll get the romantic tarot link. Um, please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload all the new stuff. These videos are not dated, but I do do a new Scorpio video every single week. So be sure to check back here and get the notifications so you get them fresh off the press. <clears throat> Scorpio. Let's go. Scorpio. Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy, Scorpio. Scorpio, giving it a nice shuffle. Scorpio, Scorpio. Jeez, two cards that would have rather stayed in the pile. Crowning your energy is be playful and clear out the clutter. You may be dealing with an air sign. You may be dealing with a water sign. I know. That's like, like six out of the 12 signs, right? Not very specific. But what this does tell me is maybe you're communicating with a, um, a water sign. Uh, or, no, sorry. Maybe you're communicating um, with somebody who you have to clean things up with. That's the energy of just wanting to clear the air and get things out like lay it all on the table and be for real with somebody. Because if you break it down for them and you break it down for real, and what I mean by for real and what this, this card implies, Scorpios, is that playful, not, not accusatory, not you know taking that stinger and ksh. This is not somebody that you even, this is not the, the, the energy, let's say this, because it could be a boss, it could be work. You know, I don't, I don't get into specifics very much. So over here uh, on the YouTube video, I try to stay in energy. But this is just the energy of it's not even somebody that's worth your stinger. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's not even a situation that it's basically when it says clear out the clutter, it's like this is garbage and I got to get rid of it. And I'm staying light and I'm staying on top of it. And, and, and I'm basically using my sense of humor or using my charm to get rid of all of this, to clean this out, to clear it out. This is Gemini energy or Aquarian energy. It's very air energy. So it's got, about, it's got to be about communication. It could also be you not letting the junk get to you. It's like people trying to throw junk at you, but it's just like kind of you're stepping over it. You're not, it's not... It's not impacting you or pushing you down. This is you're ready to let go, and it's almost like you're laughing at it. You're like you're like you're like bouncing from lily pad to lily pad, hopping and skipping, and being like, I can't take this seriously because I know this junk is not about me, or I know this junk doesn't work for me anymore. I know it's not getting me anywhere. I know that it's junk. Like that's the important realization is I know that this is junk and I'm not, and I'm not going to treat it as anything else. It's superfluous. It's got to get out of my way. I'm basically like stomping on the grapes here, stomping on the grapes. I'm just using whatever it is. Maybe you're even in some ways using this trash as, um, a, a foundation or, um, uh, like something good. Like in other words, like like <laughs> you use the trash in your fire, right? In in a way to like as long as it doesn't stink up the house. That's the one thing you have to be worried about is, um, be careful what you burn, because you don't want it to stink up the house. But either way, at the end, burning does get rid of things permanently. This is Cancerian energy. It's a maturing Cancerian energy. It's a Cancerian energy that learns that it's blessed, even though it had to change, because change isn't easy. Um, that's that energy is the change isn't easy and it's not something that we want to do, but it's something that we have to do. And there are benefits in the change frog. It becomes a truly tidal animal, right? It, it becomes that animal just like the crab, not just like the crab because crabs can't jump, but 
it, it swims, it can swim under the water, but also hop out. And that means that gives it a lot more dexterity than it had when it was just a tadpole. So it's hard to change. It's a very transformative animal, but it's realizing that it needs to change and that there are benefits in, in the change itself as well as what it's becoming. So just trying to take this as light as possible and like recognizing what's important for you and what's not very Gemini energy, very Aquarius energy, doesn't really let things get to them, can stay remain, remain cold, remain objective, doesn't really let things get to them and can see the benefits because it's not taking it personally or emotionally. Um, this is you ready, you're ready to be done with a particular situation that is not affecting you that much emotionally anymore. It's just how do we get rid of the trash? Now, Sandpiper is 51, so one, five plus one is, adds up to six. This has something to do with love and harmony coming together, feminine energy, um, and clear out the clutter, eight plus two is 10. Yeah, like learning how to get rid of that, whatever mucked up your waters, whatever you have absorbed that doesn't serve you anymore, figuring out how to end it and let it go. It could also be letting go of a circumstance or a situation uh, with uh, an air sign um, or just clearing out the air, like literally clearing, like if you think about it, like the air sign, air sign, air energy, clearing out the air, literally um, talking about it and uh, like letting, like letting the trash out and be like, what do we do with this? Like, what do you, what do you want? Do you want this? Do you not want this? Cause I'm not dealing with it anymore. That kind of energy. Um, two more, three more cards have popped out. One of them is in reverse. I can't see it right now. Uh, be at home. Wombat energy. This is heart chakra energy. Um, heart chakra home, home, home. You are never alone. Um, six plus eight is 14, which adds up to five. The energy of change. Um, and then you are never alone, four plus two. You could be changing homes or moving homes or your whole family picking up and going somewhere together or just changing what you feel at home with in terms of your heart having a chance to heal. And because you're clearing out the clutter and you're dealing with things that have, that issues that, that you've been dealing with for a while or that have been net nagging you and getting at you, this is an energy of, there's something happening very close to the heart space of of healing that healing healing those healing those issues so that you can get back to feeling that comfort again this also has to do with being at home and where your heart feels safe and it could very well be changing homes or adjusting um to where your heart feels safe like what feels good to you this is really interesting we got this gemini aquarius energy because gemini is going through something very similar is um um, is this energy of, um, wanting something different than you would have before, uh, in terms of what makes you feel good and what your criteria are for where you want to be Scorpio, that's changing. It's changing because you want safety, you want serenity, you want security. Your home space is your temple, not just your castle, it's your temple. So it has to be protected, but it's also sacred to you. This is a very sacred space and sacred spaces deserve to be worshipped in and worshipped. They don't deserve to be cluttered and messed up. So this is feeling at safe, feeling comfortable, and being very, very clear as to what's important to you. Um, something is hitting you very close to your home and your heart space. Bring your ideas to life. Um, but it's in reverse, um, which means that something could have recently shocked you or be shocking to you, an idea that was presented to you or some like information that came through to you. In other words, some sort of information just recently came through to you about something that is very close to the heart space, something that you are very guarded with and something that you um, are very protective of. It could also have to do with health, something to do with the heart, actual heart. Um, having to be shocked, somebody could have just gone uh, under, undergone surgery or there could have been an emergency, um, something could have happened with them. And so this is an this is not about anything bad coming out of it. It's about that changing what you think is important or that changing all of a sudden what your focus 
is on. In other words, it's like it's putting things into perspective for you. It makes it real easy to realize that you were dealing with a lot of crap that isn't really all that important. And maybe you were giving too much energy and giving too much of your, your energy or your focus to these things that were not that important. You know, it's, it's just sort of readjusted this, this information, this understanding, this realization um, that you've come to has made you sort of reassess where you distribute your energy. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Now your central card, card central to your energy is rhino spirit this is taurus energy it's about getting through anything it's about not only having the ability it's about having the strength it's about having the mental focus and acuity it's about uh, being able to discipline the mind and commit yourself the way an earth sign would so this is certain this is taurus energy it could also be very venetian energy because venus rules taurus um Sticking to love, making a decision to stay with love, stick to love, believe in love, reassess what love is to you and what's important in love to you. We'll get deeper into that in the romantic specific reading and definitely check out your romance tarot reading because that's going to reflect a lot about this too. But um, overcoming any, honestly, I feel like this is, and this is energy of five too. Hmm. How I would summarize it is addressing the hard stuff, addressing the stuff that was getting in your way, the walls that only something like a rhino or an elephant could push through. It's like knocking down mountains, this energy of nothing's going to stop us or nothing's going to stop me of realizing your direction and staying focused on it. Now, check this out. This is the energy of you. This is your stinger. But like I said, your stinger's been put away. No more stinger. This is you're done. You're done with the stinger. You're done with the BS. You're done with the you're you're done being stung. You're done letting it get to you. The pain is over with, as well as you um it's almost like you allow I don't yeah, I'm just gonna say it. You're not allowing this to get to you anymore. You know, there's something here that I feel like has gone on for quite some time. I would guess that it started when you were a kid that you have been hurting with for a very long time. And it's shaped your relationship with love. But this is that kind of alchemical interruption, that divine uh, aha moment that happened to you, not through you, but happened to you where you realized it was it was blocking you. It's like almost like you were defending the pain. You were holding on to it. You didn't realize it. Of course you didn't realize it. How would you? Probably happened when you were very young. So how could you? It's like you finally realized that something that you believed, especially when it concerns love, doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be love of what you do. It could be love of your family. In fact, this does imply it's very much love of family and the heart space. But it's almost like, wow. That realization, I got it. I figured, like, I never realized that I was making those decisions based on that before. And now I do. Now I get it. This is about karmic patterns, healing them. Real, because you got to realize it to heal it, right? Realizing it, healing it, and getting through it, bold, like bulldozing over it. The pain doesn't get to you anymore. It's about quelching all of those things, like... This card has to do with the internet. Usually people trying to sting you, sting at you, making bad comments to you over the internet and stuff, realizing why it hurt me. Why I even care about, why I even cared about what people thought about me, where that was coming from, where my need for approval was coming from. Where was it coming from? Coming from deep, deep inside and way, way back. Something that happened to you before you even realized it was happening to you. This energy of now you get it and you're ready to get rid of it. You're ready to let it go. It's also quelching the haters. You know what I'm saying? It really is. It's like, it's like sticking up for yourself. Why? Because for the first time you realize there's something to stick up for. There's something to stand up for. That you don't have to listen to people's commentary. That you don't have to deal with it. Like, why do you even care? You don't even have to listen to it. 
Uh, yep, the mask is dropping off. This is whatever you were hiding behind, whatever somebody else was hiding behind, exposure. This could be exposure as to where criticism was coming from, exposure as to who was really doing it, who was really hurting you, who was really making you suffer, um, realizing it, understanding it, seeing it, and being able to finally defend yourself against it because you've identified. Now this could be, you, you finally identified where the pain is coming from. The mask is off. You have finally, de de uh, um, um, you, you, okay. You've realized it, you've identified it, now you can target it and get out, get that cancer out. This week will be a lot about you dealing directly, what did I say, directly with all those things that now you have identified with as garbage. And the wonderful thing about this is there's some sort of communication happening, there's some sort of realization happening, there's some sort of, um, there's a lightness. There's a lightness and it's because, you know, it, it doesn't have any control over you anymore. It doesn't have any power over you anymore. You realize that trash is just trash and as big as the heat may be, it still goes in one place and that's the trash bin. There's no other, there's, there's no reason to let it get to you anymore. Um, lizard spirits, we have dream the world into being, um, the, the ghosts from your past, um, are influencing and directing your future. You're able to now look past them. You're able to now see them for what they are, um, realize them, put names to them and take control over them um, and be hopeful about your future. This is that past, that shadow looming, that 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 ghost. It's like those, those zombies that won't let you go, but they won't really like... Um, they won't really like uh, introduce themselves either. You don't. You don't need them introduced. You've identified them. You see them for what they are. Something has been staying hidden. I can say that right now. Um, I don't know if this was a straight up attack, but I'll say say this to you. This is the energy of eight, which means uh, something cosmically, something in the cosmos, kind of aligned to bring this mask down. And it could very well have been coming, you know, we're spending, all of us are spending a lot more time closer to home now. Maybe it's, you're finally getting it. You're finally realizing it because you're stuck with people and you, you they say things that you didn't expect to say, or they offer information. Information has come out that you didn't expect to come out. Um, because who expected this situation, right? Most of the time we stay on the road or we stay um, busy in our social lives enough to avoid but there we're trapped right we, we we're trapped right now we're trapped with the skeletons in our closet and it's really giving you a whole new perspective on the future the energy of eight plus three is 11 that is awakening awakening to where the true demons are coming from but having the fortitude and strength to be able to push it forward uh get over it leave it leave it behind let not let it affect you anymore and not basically be stuck, which is really difficult for you guys. It's not. It's not because you are the underworld. You are, You know. No. 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 Stop. You're the bridge between the underworld and the three D world. Um. But you. You have that access, right? So it's a part of you. But it's like you know what? Yes, it's a part of me. I can access it when I want to access it. I don't have to be stuck down there. I don't have to be stuck with the dead things. I can also be playful and be happy and look forward in the future and also have that eye on the dead things because you know what they won't control me the way that they control everybody else but as long as I don't obsess over them and that's this kind of what this is is like not losing sight of them or even that they happened but really being able to see them for all they really are and and in identifying them and naming them taking control over them so that they don't control you. Yeah, this is definitely something happening to you, not through you. What does that mean? Good stuff, actually. It's a blessing. It's sort of like cosmic and divine intervention. Um, this would be like a divine intervention card. I don't know what's happened. It could very well have been, but I think it's happened through words because there's some sort of spell casting here. But this is a... Um, um, working on you. This is your grounding energy. So relieving you, healing you, freeing you, liberating you, and and enabling you to move on. Uh, this is Cancerian energy. Um, Scarab beetle, once again, is an animal that transcends life and death. So um, 
in reverse, this is basically instead of you doing it, it's it, in other words, this healing is happening to you. It's not you helping somebody else heal. It's happening to you. 11, awakening, rising. We rise, we rise, right? Think of Maya Angelou and we rise. We rise into this new way of being, into this new experience of life, into something that's lighter, into something that knows that it doesn't have to look back. You're actually starting to see, like I had said when I, when I related the Gemini energy, you're actually starting to see that... Um, I don't have to be with old people anymore. I don't have to be with the kind of people that I thought that I deserved. I get to be with the kind of people that I relate to. This is you really finding a whole new tribe. Watch and wait. This is Piscean energy, but also five plus three adds up to eight. This is the energy of fate. This has taken a long time. It's been a long time coming. You've always known it existed, but it took a while for you to understand it. You didn't know all the details. Well, now the deets are coming out because check this out. This was slow moving energy. So something that you have waited a long time for is now finally popping off. It's popping off and the start, the, the starting gate, the, the gun that went off to start the race um, was really this catalyst that came out. There's some sort of communication that came out. We'll go deeper into it in the, um, in the extended. Um, but this is also Cancerian energy. Um, slow and steady wins the race. You know, I feel like there's also something on the other side, magic working through you, magic working to you. There's, there's a pulling or a calling on the other side, some realization. Maybe you finally discovered somebody long lost family member, looking up your genealogy chart, something like that. Or you finally discovered somebody from your past life. It's like you knew you were looking for them for a long time and now they finally come to surface. It's a, a reckoning. It's a recognizing. It's a recognition. It's a realization. And whatever veil was up between the two of you or between you and this information has fallen down. Ooh, you need to leave the comments below because I want to know. Okay, Scorpio, um, I'm going to go into the full tarot card reading. Um, let me quick uh, flip around the cards, though, just so we can review the energy. You can get a whole view of the spread. Hold on. Okay, full spread. And this is big grounding energy. Four cards came out for your grounding energy, and four is a very grounded number. It's a very even, stable number. You've stabilized through um, a realization or truth or or um, uh, maybe you've met somebody all of a sudden that you didn't think you'd meet, but there's something that's happened to you that's helped you to transform or push you through that cocoon that you've waited for for a very long time. There was a patient vigilance about your march toward this realization and understanding, and it could have been a very, very long time. It took a very, very long time. Um, very masculine energy, but nurturing masculine um, uh, has to do with father. Fatherhood. Something to do with your father could very well be information that had to do with his not being there or his um, lack of participation in your life, um, how you always made that be what qualified you or what made you worthy and realizing suddenly something about him, information coming through about him, um, information coming through for you, suddenly uh, being able to release what you've held on to for so long as that has remained an obstacle for you, that has served to hurt you, that has actually made you tune into negative comments on you over positive comments on you. This is something being revealed, maybe even um, people who have been trying to take you down or hurt you, say bad things to you, or just, it's just all of a sudden realizing that something isn't healthy. Something isn't good anymore. Like it was self-sabotage, to be honest with you, because this is your card. So it was almost like recognizing self-sabotage and where it came from and getting rid of the corpse and burning the bodies and clearing out all that stuff and realizing, you know what? It's not part of me anymore. I march forward. I'm moving through this energy of renewal and a different relationship with love, which we're going to dive really deep into in the extended. That link is below, guys. Uh, join me over there for... Um, I want a little bit more information. I hope you do too. I'll see you over there.